Hey, you guys, welcome back to Homesteading with SEK. You guys, I am going to do a review and a demonstration on this mini washing machine. You guys, I already played with this thing. This is like my new toy right now. You guys, this little thing works. Now, the only pet peeve that I may have with this is there's no type of line of demarcation as far as your water line. So when you are filling up your little mini machine, they may have some that have that, that line of demarcation that you don't want to go past. This one doesn't. So I had to play around with filling it up with water. So now what I'm going to do with this one, this, this load that I'm going to do, it says, according to um, Amazon, it says you can put four underwears, 10 pairs of socks, four, four um, uh, bras, you can add baby clothes to it, uh, a four inch towel and a t-shirt. So what I'm gonna do is add uh, my bra, it's going in, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna add four pairs of socks, you guys, and my socks is a hot mess because I walk around the house with my socks there you go. <laughs> now, I'm going to add a t-shirt and I'm going to call it, that's it. That's all I'm going to put in there, right? Is that. So now I'm going to add my water, which I have a 64, um, I think this is, yeah, 64 ounces of water in a jar. And I'm, yep, there, there I go making a mess. So... I'm gonna add my water, which I'm probably going to need some more, so I'm gonna get some more right now. And I am not using the agitator, you guys, because I wanna wash as much as I can with this, right? So, these are the instructions that comes with this unit. And again, I pay five bucks for this, Free shipping. Somebody asked me about the shipping. Right now, Timu is offering free shipping on pretty much everything. All right, so let me get, and I'm probably going to use half of this. Yeah. Let's get this bad boy rocking. So these are the instructions on how to use the machine. And you have to do like press hold for a second to get the machine on. Then you got to press hold. And the machine will move. Most of your machines will have your directions, but these are mine. But um, I just wanted to show you guys that this sucker do work. So here's my little um, tablet that I'm going to use. And I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to tuck it down. And then I'm going I'm to angle the camera different so you guys can see it. So... Hold on, you guys. All right, this is moving. Need some more water. Yep, it's moving, you guys. All right, you guys, I'm gonna give you guys an angle. One second. Yep, it can use some more water, so let me get some more water. And this is good because I don't even think I used this much water on the first, on my first wash because I didn't put as much stuff in it as I am now. So this is good, so that's actually almost three this is going to be actually my third um, 64 ounces. So I'll probably use another half. Like I said, you guys, this is excellent for, this is so excellent for underwears. Underwears and, and um, so let me move that around. Yeah, it's moving, you guys. 
And according to the site, they tell you to do not overflow your machine. So what's good about it right now is that I still can cover my machine like so, right? All right, you guys, so I'm gonna angle you guys and y'all gonna see my dirty socks. Y'all see that? It is washing. Now, if I did it again, what I would not put in here is probably a t-shirt because there's the t-shirt right here. So you want it, you want your machine to definitely be able to move. So it's moving. It's washing. <laughs> and y'all see all that dirt that's coming off? So it is washing. Now. Another pet peeve about this is you have to, once it rents, you, you have your plug down here. Let me see if I can get you guys angled so you can see the plug, right? That's your plug right there where um, your water is released through, you know, your plug right here. So you need to be at a tub close to a sink or even outside so that once you go on your spin cycle, you can um, get that, that water released out. So... What I want to do on my next wash is actually use the agitator to see how it would, how it would do once it gets to the two minute drain. So you have your five minute wash, then you have, let me see if you guys can see in this, okay, sorry. You have your five minute wash, your 10 minute wash, and then your two minute drain. So I have not experienced the draining to where it's draining like a washing machine drain. It's not gonna drain that way. So you, you're probably going to have to wring out sometimes. And when you're when you're trying to rinse, when you go into your other cycle, cause you will have to drain this and then you will have to fill it up again with more water, fresh water to, um, to get rid of all the, um, the dirty water out of your clothes. But again, this is not a machine to where you wanna throw a pack of jeans, um, a pair of jeans in here. You don't want to throw a hoodie in here. This is definitely excellent for socks, underwears, t-shirts, and bras. And if you have baby clothes, perfect for washing your baby clothes. But as you can see, I got dirty, dirty socks in there. I got a dirty bra in there. <laughs> My t-shirt wasn't too bad, but it's good that everything is dirty because you can actually see that the machine is washing. You see that? And like I said, I run around the house with my socks. These are my um my floor socks. So it is cleaning, right? So you guys, again, this is from Timu. Right now, I am loving this little gadget. I cannot wait to take this on vacation. And you um will get free shipping right now. Like I said, Timu is offering free shipping like crazy on everything. I got this for five bucks. So now it's beeping. So now it needs to go into the, uh, the, um, hold on you guys. It's supposed to skip into the 10 minute. I think that's what it was getting. It was getting ready to do that, but I didn't allow it to do it. So that's what it's doing right now. All right, family. Yeah, that's what it's doing right now. So yeah, I think like I said, if I did it again, I wouldn't put the t-shirt in because my bra has metal in it. And so what it's doing is the metal is pushing up on the lid, which is, it's not bad, but if you want to keep it closed, you, you might want to just um, do a load of just bras, maybe four bras, maybe eight underwears, you know, different loads, not everything at one time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review on my little mini washing machine my portable washing machine and um i like it you guys i really do i really do i think it for five bucks yes i do so from sek to you all if y'all ready to go shop at tibu i'm gonna tell y'all to go ham <laughs> go ham because i'm about to go ham over there you guys i'm about to go have some fun and try out some of their different um items so i hope you guys enjoyed this um review on my mini um portable washing machine 
And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.